Most of us have no clue where our salt comes from, but one woman-owned business in the Bay Area is working hard to change that, harvesting salt right out of our own backyard. In our continuing series, The Rebound Tampa Bay, ABC Action News Rebound reporter Michael Paluska introduces us to a passionate business owner who even in her most difficult time during the pandemic is still putting the community over profits. You know, in Florida, we're blessed because we're surrounded pretty much on all sides by salt water, especially here in the Tampa Bay area. This five gallon bucket will give you a pound of salt, but it takes a lot more to get there. Five years ago, Maureen Cassiopo turned her hobby into a company. One day, I think I just went out in the backyard and got some water and started ruining my pots. That day, Florida Pure Sea Salt was born out of the steam. So how long was I making terrible salt? A long time. <laughs> Even Cassiopo admits she didn't have a clue. That first year and, and the year prior to that first year in business was really a lot of failure and I just I loved it. I loved failing and learning from it and I think as a small business owner you do it a lot. You, you, you make a lot of mistakes and you learn from it and you move forward. You got great biceps, you got good arms. The team has great biceps now. <laughs> right. I was a little bit more defined when I was doing it by myself. <laughs> How long did you harvest by yourself? Uh, a couple years. Today she has nearly a dozen employees harvesting for her. She gave us a basic demonstration of her early days evaporating water to make salt, but her process from golf to table is a lot harder. You need to make sure your water's clean. There's a lot of variables that go into that and a lot of testing. Disasters, natural or man-made, directly impact how much salt Cassiopo can harvest. Not the best uh, business model, but uh, a really, a really beautiful one nonetheless. <laughs> it took you a long time to figure out where to go to harvest. So like here in the Bay near the Skyway, this isn't ideal for you because right. of all the human runoff, some of the sewage spills that happen and just other issues with yeah, the fertilizer. You know, it's, it's not ideal to harvest around people. In years past, it was red tide or hurricanes, but now a pandemic. Our sales are down 75% uh, fourth quarter last year. Even despite all of those losses, Cassiopo still partnered with nonprofits, national and local. A new one highlighted each month, 20% of the sales going directly to their cause. And even though times are tough, Cassiopo believes in good karma. You know, you got to put it out there. There's there's a really believe that there's a, a, a vibration that gets and, and we're all connected. And when you support each other, you know, that support comes back. And I have no doubt in that. In Pinellas County, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.